All right, it is time for our restaurant report. Something special today. If you are planning to eat out this week or you have in the past, you know, we all have questions about the cleanliness of restaurants. But when should you stay? When should you leave? Joining me now is Jessica Tyree. Been on before. We appreciate it because your expertise is always, it gives us perspective on what we're doing um, with restaurant compliance solutions. So good morning. We asked people to, to give us some feedback and what are some of the questions that they have when they eat out? And you guys really didn't respond much on my Facebook page, but that's okay because I know you have questions because <laughs> you send them directly to me. So there was a restaurant last week. It was shut down. And then it reopened just hours after it was shut down, and it was shut down because of roaches. And sometimes when I'm going through those reports, I don't always understand why they could open up so quickly while another restaurant, it could take them days, you know, or even the next day that they have to wait before they reopen. Right. So it depends on why they were shut down. And so for roaches in this situation, um, there's a possibility if they were concentrated in one area, mm -hmm. um, if they got their pest control company out there and they got rid of them, they got them cleaned up fast. Um, the health department really wants to work with people to try and get them reopen. So they'll come out as soon as they're, as soon as the restaurant says they're clean. Um, if they're clean and they don't see any roaches, then they'll let them reopen. Uh, but they do come back pretty quickly after that. They come back within a few weeks or For so, another visit, for just another to make visit. sure they're consistent. Just because the thing sure. is, if they do come in and you see one roach as an inspector, you have to keep them closed. They have to be completely roach-free on that second visit, right? Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. All right, also, the other question we have. So where will you not eat? <laughs> you know, what are the worst restaurants to eat at? Yes, I get that question a lot when I tell people what I do for a living. So um, I always tell people DBPR has a mobile app right. that I have on my phone. Um, I mostly eat at places I know that are clean, but if I don't know, if I'm going somewhere I don't know, I just pull it up on the app and okay. I read the inspection. I mean, you have to read the inspection and see um, Everyone's tolerance level is different. Mm -hmm. Not every violation is going to kill you. So Right, and, and that's something that I am really conscious of when I do the report because, you know, you may see someone with a bunch of um, violations, but are they really going to make a person sick right. or are they dangerous? And you have to kind of know what you're looking at and make that determination. So you do eat out. I do. When people see you coming, do they get nervous? <laughs> if they're my clients, yes. Because right, like, they don't know if I'm coming for a mock inspection right. or if I'm coming to point. eat. Okay, last question, because this is a good one. Um, what is the number one safety concern in a restaurant? That I put on my Facebook page at one point. I said, if you see a roach in a restaurant, would you leave? And everyone's like, yes, we'd leave. But that's not really the number one safety concern. The number one safety concern is personal hygiene, hand washing. So of, of all of the... Um, when there are foodborne illness outbreaks in the country and you know things happen, um, the, it always leads back to most likely people not washing their hands properly or not washing them when they're supposed wow. to. Okay, so roaches, not good, but make sure that they're washing their hands. And that's kind of something sometimes in open kitchens you can see and also yes. you can kind of keep an eye on and make that's sure it's happening. That's a big concept these days yeah. is having open kitchens. So Sometimes when I go out, I try to sit with my back to the kitchen. So, uh, so you just don't have to look, right? I don't have to look. Jessica, thank you. Good information. Thank Some good you. insight there. So if you missed any part of this interview, you want to see it, you want to share it, you can go to newsforjax.com. We'll get it on there later. Also, your website is rcswebsite.com, Restaurant Compliance Solutions. You're helping out restaurants, making sure that they are in compliance. And certainly we can reach out to you for more information. Appreciate you coming thank in. You. Thank you for having me.